everyone yex here and in today's video we're going to be going over the farm lane i'm going to be pretty much covering all the things you need to know and to do to become one of the best farm laners in the game um this role again as i mentioned in previously videos uh is pretty valuable you need to know what you're doing and you need to farm to get to that late game where you do a lot of damage and yeah let's get into it first i need you guys to go to your controls make sure you go to hot and you put out advanced Make sure you go to basic controls, you put advanced. You really want to have these, you know, tower and uh, minion buttons. Um, as you guys can see right here, I have multiple targets. But if I do press on the minion, it's going to go to the minion. It's going to go to the monster in the river. And again, if the, I'm against multiple people and I want to hit the tower, I'm going to hit the tower here. So yeah, it's important to have this on. It's a really good future. And you need that, especially if you're playing range heroes. What you want to do next is go to basic attack target priority and you want to put lowest health, lowest absolute health. Just make sure that you kind of target the lowest people in the team fights. So you want to have that on. Attack while moving. You want to turn this off. It's quite annoying sometimes like if you attack someone. Like you see the game like glitches you back and forth. Like if you walk away. So if you accidentally press the attack button, you will do that. Obviously, I don't like that. So I'm going to turn it off. Um... There we go. As you can see, this wouldn't happen again. So I walk away. I wouldn't walk back. So we want to turn that off. And the next thing I need you guys to do is go to your basic attack target selection. Put precise. If you don't have this on, as you guys can see, you don't have too many options. All you can do is press attack button. But if you do turn that on, put precise. You're going to be able to drag your autos. You're going to be able to lock to different targets. And the game will help you lock your auto attacks onto them. So if you guys played Wild Rift or if you play different MOBAs that had this function, this was added recently and it's pretty good. It's really important for a uh, farm laner to have this so you can pick and choose who you want to kill in your fights. And again, make sure to have the directional indicator on precise as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for as far as the setting goes. And now if you guys look at the timer, the timer is at 3 minutes. So... Before 4 minutes, whenever you go to the enemy's jungle, you're going to have this debuff right here. Sprite's protection. So you're going to do 10% reduced damage to enemy jungle camps. So let's say you're in the farm lane, right? And you want to kill this. You want to make sure you're over the wall. The moment you step into the jungle, like right here, you're going to have the debuff. So again, if you guys want to do it, make sure you come around here. And you do it safely in the river and make sure you have your support with you. So you're able to do damage, right? So again, that's another tip you want to do. I know a lot of you guys enjoy taking that camp, even though it's quite risky. But if you want to do it, make sure to do it the right way. And make sure you are at a spot where you cannot be caught. And also, you do more damage to it. But yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, that's, I, that's all I needed you guys to know. And the other thing is going to be the prep. So if you guys go to the main menu... Um, there we go. You want to make sure you have the best Arcana and builds equipped on your character. And you want to make sure you have the maximum Arcana, right? If you guys look at here, I have 138. Obviously, 138 is not the max. You want to make sure you have level 150 Arcana. Arcana is really important in this game, especially for the farm laners. You need to kill those minions early on. You need to last hit them. And you need to dish out a lot of damage, obviously. So you want to have it maxed out. And yeah, pretty much... You have to read up on the Arcanas. I do have two different builds for Lady Sun. One of them is a full like crit rate build for my Arcana. And I have penetration in my build. And the other one is a full crit build with penetration in my Arcana sets instead of items. So you have to pretty much know what you are doing with Arcana and the builds. Obviously, I'm not going to cover it in this video. I'm probably going to have like a separate video for our items and Arcana. But yeah, I need you guys to know what every single um skill common skill does and whatever we you know single equipment does and arcana does before you guys get into the games but yeah that's pretty much it for you guys to get started in the farm lane and now i'm gonna go ahead and queue up to a ranked game and pretty much tell you guys a step by step what my thought process is and what you should be doing as a marksman player enjoy all right looks like we found a game 
gonna go ahead here and lock it in. And yeah, let's see how it goes. I'm gonna break lane. down the game step by step. Pick a hero nice. to ban. I'm gonna go ahead here and ban Dolia. You always wanna get Dolia out of the way. Maybe Yaria ban as well. Ban Very good bans already. I'm gonna go ahead here and pick Sun, Lady Sun. I don't mind first picking her at all. So here we go. Round one, begin. Hey. Let's see. They're gonna take Byron and Lamb. All right, not bad picks. They're they're kind of okay counter just because of the fact they can get onto me. But yeah, if you're able to roll around and dodge their abilities, we should be able to be, you know doing a lot of damage I'm gonna go ahead here and take flash and also for my build I'm gonna use my second preset where I have a lot of physical pierce and that's because they're they're gonna be tanky they're gonna build probably some tank items so obviously I want to do pierce early on in the game as I mentioned before Arcana are really important in this game so you want to make sure you have them they're also against a Koi and Angela so they're going direct counter to us Koi does counter us and then Angela also um, she does have a lot of bursts, so once the moment I get caught, I'm gonna pretty much die, so we have to watch out for that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead here, turn on the esports mode on my device, and we're gonna lock in. We're gonna try to focus up and hopefully win this match for you guys and break down everything. As mentioned before, and then it's a constant you lock in. So again, another counter. She does counter me with her second skill, it keeps her physical immunity for two seconds. So yeah, we're gonna have to be careful with that. But yeah, we should be able to still win this game though. I don't think there's gonna be too much trouble. Uh, if we do play it right, we just have to farm basically, not pick fights where our teammates are not around. And we should be good to go. Hopefully the Sunbeam actually hovers in me, because this is gonna be a bad matchup with the Koi around me. I need to move the speed. So the first thing I usually do is pick up a iron sword. It's really important to pick up the iron sword. It gives you that lane clear and also the poke that you need early game. The 20 plus damage. So we're gonna use that. And we're gonna upgrade our first skill. And hopefully we can get some fights in down in here. Seems like the Koi is in the middle lane. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk up and poke this guy. He used his first skill already. Use it again. Seems like he just wants to walk away. That's completely fine. Gonna just clear the minions, get the last hit, get the prior for the fire hawk here. Gonna try to take it as fast as possible. She used her second skill, so we can't really challenge her anymore. Alright, there we go. We played it better. We're able to kill her. I'm gonna go ahead, clear the minion waves fast, and try to get out of here. There we go. Nice kill. We got a 1v1 kill. We have around 400 more gold just because of the kill. I'm gonna back here. Seems like our team is actually winning on the other side as well. Maybe not. Okay, pretty close, pretty close. Lixine probably can kill the Koi if you wanted to. Doesn't look like it. Gonna have to be careful with him. He's level 4 now. Gonna go ahead and clear the main wave. Gonna get level 4, and I gotta go back to my lane, obviously. Uh, with his Sunbin. Gonna give me a little protection. Probably can kill this guy. He does not have flash if I remember correctly. There we go. Another free kill. And we should be able to get the Firehawk for free again. And I'm not gonna recall this time. I'm just gonna take the recovery under my tower. And we're just gonna try to take the bird here. Been 
Our mid laner died once again. Not the best. She's not level 4 yet, so we can try to challenge her once again. Um, she can really stun me or do the burst she has. You gotta really be careful to have 4 here. I'm gonna go ahead and use my recovery a bit. I'm gonna try to help this guy with the red. I might get hooked. Yeah, it did get hooked. Just gonna go ahead here. I don't think walking up close to this guy is a good idea. Um. Let's have a little. Ooh, there's Angela. Alright, I see how it is. They have multiple people in our lane. Uh, that was a little aggressive, obviously. I thought I, I can just like roll around and kill the guy, but that was an Angela. Um, obviously, our mid is losing Pryo, so. And I believe he died in our jungle, so we had to watch out for that. So far, I like looking at minimap is really important here. But if you're in a good spot, we have 4 1. Not too bad. So we just gotta like relax and spawn. I tried to take the Firehawk here again. And push the wave. Seems like the concert U is not here. My support should be honestly roaming around right now instead of helping me, but. It is what it is. It's gonna get Your the tower, get the jungle camps. I believe their blue is up too, so we can try to take that. Seems like their jungle did teleport here, so we might have to fight soon. That's good, we took the blue. I didn't want to like force the frogs and take those. I'm gonna go clear the minions. Make sure to last everything so you can keep your gold up. And we're gonna go back, get the jungle camps, the bird here. We take the red buff as well. We do have the most gold in the game, so... Shouldn't be too bad. Alright, we're at a pretty good spot with farm. We can start taking some fights here and there. Just gonna clear the waves and I'm gonna go back down. Your turret has been destroyed. Okay, that guy's just gonna take the blue. I'm gonna try to farm a little bit more. We already lost bot tower, so I'm gonna try to be around the lick scene. Hopefully, he can cover me and we can take a fight here. The jungle tried to 1v5, seems like they're taking dragons, so I'm just gonna push the mid wave. And... Very DC's here. It's not a good fight at all. So I'm not gonna really push it. They're quite low though. Mm, the Sunbeam could ult maybe. I stood in the Koi ultimate, so I'm pretty low now. I have to watch out. Nice. Pretty sure the lamb is back too, so I have to back here. Oh yeah, pretty, pretty good fight so far. Our team did pretty well. Even though I did a little bit of damage, I wasn't able to kill anyone. But killing is not important, it's all about winning the team fight, which we did here. I'm gonna go out here and take the red. 
Over here at the boss side jungle. Take the camp. And I'm just gonna go ahead. Get the other camp here. And we should be able to go mid. Grab the wave. And we could play for the bot lane here or the mid lane. Doesn't really matter. We play for mid here, it seems like. Team is doing pretty well. Don't have a wave anymore, so just gonna go ahead, pick a blue. Gotta cast the waves here. This might be a little greedy. Maybe not. There we go. We get a pick. She didn't know I was there. Pretty nice. Able to get the kill as well. Should have been able to kill the concert you as well. But she just ran away. Your team has destroyed a turret. Don't really want to go that far up because the lamp. Yeah, he's up right there, so we're just gonna dip. Gonna go farm a little bit more again. It's really important to keep your gold up. We have 9k gold now. So again, this is the reason we are doing a lot of damage and one shotting people on the winning. It's all about the farm now. play for towers now and we should be able to kind of end the game Your team has destroyed a we have way too much gold for these guys to do anything That's how you play marksman in the farm lane. Um, as I mentioned, all you gotta do is pretty much farm and make sure to last hit, make sure to pick the right fights, position well, and you should be able to have easy games just like this. It takes a lot of patience to play the farm lane, obviously, um, but if you're able to get to the late game and be the damage dealer that you're supposed to be, you're gonna win your game super easily. As you guys saw right there, we have a bunch of medals, we have MVP, we have, you know, we have 16.0 score, we have better than 90.99% of players, 99, so yeah, it, it just, it's just, that's how you gotta play, and that's how you, that's how you're gonna win, but yeah, 31% damage, there you guys have it, hope y'all enjoyed, and I will catch you guys on the next video, let me know if you guys want me to cover any other roles or what role you want me to do next but much love everyone and i'll see you guys next time peace out